Hi, this is my video about sacred sciences and ancient technology and unified field theory. It's more about how the flower of life is my ancient symbol that has to do with a unified field of electromagnetism and energy and matter. Supposedly, the tree of life was like a portable version of the ark. And uh, Kircher said that the game in Art of Light and Shadow has to do with two dimensional figures projected in the shadow of a hyper dimensional form. Okay, everything in nature has three dimensions. Most of our science is really dealing with two dimensions, and so most of our tools are as well. So you can see the spiral here in the end. That's a pretty familiar spiral you see in your whirlpool. And that's easily understood, but it's two dimensions. It's this dimension and this dimension. But look, we've got a third dimension. And you can see it's changing in the third dimension. That's very complicated. I mean, it's infinitely complicated. If you think about it, every living thing goes through a liquid phase in its development. So it takes on the geometry of turbulence. So every living thing on Earth has these geometries built into it. From the cochlea of your ear to the spacing between your teeth the size of your teeth to even if I look at my finger the length of that in proportion to that bone and in proportion to that bone are the same proportions that you find in these spirals so it's everywhere this is a photo that Danny Wilton made of the flower of life superimposed over a, a skull and it really shows the sacred geometry behind the human body and I'll put a link in the video description I drew this to show the relationship of how the human face is related to the what they say in the Sephiroth around the formation of the face and just the Egyptian. And right here is the ratios of the human body and you see how they follow the pi ratio and pretty much the same you could find in the human shell and the ratios are similar in pretty much all of life. This is another image created by Danny Wilton which shows the flower of life composed over the human skeleton and it shows and it reminded me of the Sumerian tree of life. It looked like a, um, a spine and this similar looks to a spine. It's uh, fluid, vibrated in infrared sound. At the top of the Sumerian tree of life you could see like a lotus figure. I think it has to do with symbolic of the vector equilibrium and the flower of life and the tree of life. And also Metatron's cube it has to do with the construction of the pyramids as well and it's related to the platonic solids and remember Atlant Plato said the platonic solids are ancient Atlantean technology and I definitely think they are.
This is another cymatics experiment showing shows a flower of life, but you could see it looks like the vector equilibrium, equilibrium and a, a star tetrahedron if, if you pause it at certain points. This guy talks about Edward Leedskallen's rediscovery of the same technology that built the pyramids. And I, I really do think it has to do with electromagnetism and the sacred geometry that's uh, almost like a unified field theory of energy and matter. And it has to do with the Apollo symbol as well, I think. Just like I mentioned in the Kircher game of art and light shadows, a projection of a, a shadow of a 3D figure is how they were able to remember patterns, like com complex patterns I think. These are just some vector equilibrium and crop circles that uh, Nassim Haramein mentioned. I think they're higher dimensional entities trying to show us ancient technology or they could be aliens, I don't know, possibly. What's interesting is these were found thousands of years before Plato mentioned them in Timaeus. So I definitely think they could be remnants of the ancient Atlantean technology. And also, these are Celtic, so it's definitely related. The Suryancha in 3D, I noticed it, it looked like the Great Pyramid. I took screen captures of a sacred science of it about how if you map out A musical scale onto a triangle, it all has to do with harmonics and it's related to music. It's really interesting because it seems just like this and it's definitely related to sound and octaves and the sound of a womb and then I had this these thoughts and I wrote them down.
the ancients had a unified field theory of how the human body was reflected by the cosmos and vice versa and so I think the the Great Pyramid and even the Ark of the Covenant was somehow an energy device built on it. This shows the King's Chamber Coffer as a octave ratio and Pythagoras is the one whatever Pythagorean theory you get it from the Egyptians and uh this is the Dejed pillar and its relation to the Egyptian tetragrammaton which show right here it's the version of the Ark the Egyptian version or whichever whoever and I think it's related to the Uja eyes which are possible unified theory this is a Juliet crop circles and I just experimented with them and tried to combine it and then just to see how it look if you uh, turn it into a star tetrahedron the planetary manifestation of these physics you can see the star tetrahedron on 19.47 on each planet there's some kind of natural manifestation like of Hawaii, Olympus Mons, and Cydonia complex. Even on Mars, the South Pole, you could see the hexagon which is almost like a cube, the corner of a cube, the apex. These are just pictures that show how the same patterns repeat over and over. Supposedly the Great Pyramids were built by Hermes. This is information by Hermes the Kabbalon who he wrote. So this is from the guy who built the pyramids.